Hello, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to look at uh, earned value analysis. First of all, let's review the work progress. Click on the view tab on top and then find the tables. From the entry view, you need to switch to variance view. In this table, the first two columns start and finish. Those are the actual progress dates for the completed tasks or for the two tasks we haven't done anything. Those will be the projected dates. They are compared with the baseline start and the baseline finish in order to determine the start variance and finish variance. It seems the project is able to finish on time although we had a one day delay on grading. The reason is the grading task actually has plenty of slacks or floats originally. Next, let's review the cost expenditure. Click on the tables again, and this time switch to cost view. Now you will see a list uh, with different types of the costs. Let's look at one at a time. The only fixed cost is uh, $100 for celebration, which we have, which we have not spent anything. Uh, the total cost usually is uh, the current total cost for each task. Although we don't have the actual cost information so far, by default, Microsoft Project will recalculate the numbers according to the current progress. The baseline uh, that reflects the initial budget we started with. Remember, we actually set a baseline before we do the schedule update. The variance is really <clears throat> easy to understand. That's just the difference between total cost and baseline budget. For example, grading has $480 of variance because originally we planned for two days and uh, as a matter of fact, it, it took three days to complete the task. For every day, you will have to spend money on the resources. Actual cost, those are the actual expenditure on the task. For example, the form work was 50% complete, so 50% of 1,516 would be 758. And the remaining is just the difference of total cost and actual cost. Uh, form work, you take the number we have and then minus what we spent, and this will be what's going to be remaining for the cost. Now let's look at the earned value, which is an idea considers the work itself for the progress and also the money it is spent. Let's go ahead and uh, click on tables, more tables at the bottom. And from this one, you can pick earned value and then click apply. There are a few things we have to explain in this new table. First one is the PV, the plan value, which means as of today, which is July 9 for our update, what will be the estimated value for the work planned to be done? For example, the form work. Uh, it was scheduled from July 8 to July 10. So today is July 9. It would have been the second day of the three day duration. So that means two out of three would be 67% complete. So 67% 67 of 1,516 would have been $1,010. Next, the earned value, which means as of today, July 9, what will be the estimated value for the work actually done? 
For example, in our case, form work was 50% complete on July 9. It's not the 67% we, we thought to be. So the earned value would be our budget 1,516 times 50%, that would be 758. Uh, AC, the actual cost is really easy to understand. Uh, you could actually put in the money you spend, whether or not you did anything for form work or not. Uh, this will be just a cost accounting. In our case, we don't have any actual information, so the system took the value from earn value and assume this will be the actual cost expenditure. Uh, of course, if you disagree, you will have to change the budget and then put in uh, the actual cost to make the number work. The next two columns are uh, schedule virus, SV. That's the difference of uh, earned value and planned value, the difference of the first two columns. That's why you are looking at a negative of $252, because it seems like the form work was actually falling behind the schedule. Uh, next one, the cost of variance. Grading had a negative cost of variance value, which means it was over budget because it used the three days of resources. However, it wasn't behind the schedule. Remember, we had plenty of slack or float for this task. For the last three columns, we're gonna focus on the driveway, our project level task. It seems like uh, EAC estimate uh, at completion was $7,285. This is a prediction for the project to finish the cost at. And the BAC, which is the budget at completion, that's our baseline. So the difference of the two will be variance at completion, VAC. That's $1,029 over budget. This prediction includes two things. One, the $480 of grading, but the task has already been completed. Two, the form work was behind the schedule, and this delay will cost us money as well in the future, unless there's something being done to that form work progress. Now we're going to look at uh, some of the report feature in Microsoft Project. So let's go ahead and click on Report tab and uh, go to Dashboards. Then click on Project Overview. Seems like the project is 77% complete. That's the overall performance. Click on the report tab again, and from the dashboard, let's click on cost of overview. Yes, the cost was also 77%. You can also, also see some of the cost status for procurement phase and construction phase. We're gonna look at one more. Let's go back to report and then click on dashboards again this time pick work overview this is a little bit surprising because you can see the work itself was only 75 percent complete not 77 percent complete uh, this means you are spending money a little bit faster than the work itself which is really common in the, a construction project Finally, if you want to, you can spend time to look at other report features. A few ones I would recommend. Uh, resource overview, cost overrun, and critical tasks. I think that's everything I want to talk about the Microsoft project so far. If you like those videos, 
just to give me some feedback in the comment section. If you want to, you can also subscribe to the channel. So this way you will get the latest update.